talking because you know, if you actually know somebody, he's going to say that Jesus for sure was a real person. No, yeah, we just believe that Jesus for sure was a real person, no question. He was so, a Jewish teacher. He was a Jewish guy. Yeah, he was a Jew. He, he was part of us. You know, he was, what, what we're going to disagree with you guys about is whether or not he was the Messiah or not. Um, you know, the, so you guys said um, the Christian the religion, the religion believes that Jesus came and was the Messiah that was talked about in the Torah. But in the Torah, it's, it's it, we believe it has very specific directions as to what happens when the Messiah comes. And we don't believe, believe that that prophecy about what was to happen when the Messiah comes was fulfilled. And so we don't believe that Jesus was this uh, thing, or, or like a god or anything. Yeah, or like a god or anything. Like that. And so but he was definitely a Jewish guy. He just, uh, yeah, we believe he was real. He was for sure real. Because we respect his teachings. These are really good questions. Any other questions before we move on to Israel? Feel free to raise your hand. Anytime. I'm going to go back to your question. You could help. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when it when it comes to dates, like, because technically it's placed after the birth of Jesus. How, how do you guys deal with that? I don't know. A lot of people do um, BCE, which is the Lord. Okay. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah. Anything else? I'd say because Jews are um, a minority, there's just so few of us um, that they're easy scapegoat. Uh, so if you want to go to like Nazi Germany, um, they use that as the scapegoat, um, got people behind it. And, and before, it's been going on before for forever, really. Um, but that's that's why I think it is. I would really say also um, like why it continues into like this because obviously you know what occurred in the um, 20th century kind of know the reason why but I still experience you know anti-Semitism today and uh, you know, in this time period and I think what really um, perpetuates that is just stereotypes in general. Um, I think that's and ignorance. Yeah, and ignorance too, which is I mean the purpose of why we're up here not that any of you are ignorant, but to um, like to kind of prevent that and you know now you guys know. Um, what what it's like, um, but I, yeah, I really think that stereotypes and just yeah, just purely not knowing you know the truth behind something really is why kids say what they say, people say what they say, and don't realize the repercussions of it. And yeah, it's pretty perplexing that like you said we're basically the same, but it still happens. Right. Universal truth is most religions are very similar. Anything else? We no, go for it. Okay, so we also have a. Uh, a long history of as to where this anti Semitism came from. So, um, the, um, there's been, been anti Semitism throughout all of history, you know, against Jews always, just 100% of the time, there's just always been anti Jews. It's kind of weird because most other cultures don't have this, you know, they say all the time there's something against Jews. And, and what, um, what, as Orthodox Jew, Jews, we believe that is that a long time ago there was this not very um, nice person, let's say. Named um, Asaph, and um, his children um, were were supposed to be. Yeah, his, his children are all the people, and, and his children, his offspring, people who have his blood in him, are the people who uh, who hate Jews, and it's just kind of inherent in the in society. There's going to be these people who hate Jews. It's just it's just a never thing until until we get to Messiah. Awesome. All right. Well, we're running kind of long time, so we're going to do. Um, um, you and Ryan Matt to do Kashrut in like two sentences. So, <laughs> so you've got about uh, 12 minutes left. Oh, okay. Can we do Israel real fast? We're going to go back to that after. Do you want us to do Israel first or Kashrut? It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because we're just going to do Kashrut really quickly. Yeah, okay. Kashrut. I can't, as a Jewish person, I can't eat a lot of things you guys eat. I don't go out. Why don't you put Kashrut in What? I have some residue. Good. Um, Kashrut. 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 So I don't eat milk, big milk together, I can't, I can't do that. So, you know, after I eat meat, I have to wait a bunch of hours, six, six hours so until I eat milk again. Um, I, and I, that comes from that so, line? So there's or? a line of the toilet, so you can't, um, you can't bathe your a foil. A foil, a goat, and a mother's milk, his mother's milk. You can't foil a goat and his mother's milk. And so we just don't even arrive from that, you can't eat them together. Um, I, so an animal cannot, I can't eat any animals that do not chew their cud and have split hooves. They have to have both of those or offense be kosher. That's land. Land animals, right? And um, 
when they when they're killed, they have to be killed in a very specific way. They have to have um, a knife that has absolutely no sharp edges on them, and you cut it, cut the head off very fast. It's, it's one of the, the most humane ways of, of killing an animal.